Hello, Moses. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. I'm ready for the class. Okay, good. You're the only <laughs> one today. What happened with the others? Ah, uh, Carlos is is arriving there. To the meeting. The group. Uh huh. To the meeting. Okay. Exactly. Okay, good. <clears throat> That's another one. Only Carlos saying me. Okay, Carlos. Yes, Carlos and you. All right. Then we have more time to practice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Probably later the others will will show up. Right? It's Monday. Hey, Carlos disappeared. Yeah. He probably is having a a little problem. And how was your weekend? That week. Uh, let me see. I'm fine. Okay. It was fine. It was fine. What did you uh -huh. do? Uh, I, I I went to visit Lourdes. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Where in Lourdes? And let me see. Uh, the mall. Ah, okay, good. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, let me see what else. Uh, only that, I only see. That. Okay. Uh huh. And on Friday, I I take a long, a long nap. Okay. I take, take took. took. I took. Uh huh. I took a a long nap in the afternoon. No, that's nice. <laughs> That's good. Yes, you. you yes. I mean, it's necessary to rest. It's necessary. Yes. Okay. Then that makes you feel better the next day. Okay. Good. Hey, Carlos. How are you, Carlos? Hi, teacher. Fine, fine. And you? How are you? Good. Waiting for the class to to gather and continue with the learning. Okay. We are waiting for them. <laughs> Okay, fine. William, how are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, good. Excellent. Happy to be here yeah. again. Very you good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Everything fine. Okay. Ready then. Okay, good. Then uh, yeah. while the others while the others show up, uh, I'm going to uh, review. We're going to watch the video again. Uh, we're going to check vocabulary, see, for example, the, the structures, the, the biggest, the best, the comparative form, right? And we're going to have some practice about it. Okay, first, let's watch the video again. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Is the sound okay? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Well, just listen to the book. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River. Valley. Volcano, waterfall. Okay, so this is, you know, some places, right, that we can visit sometimes, right? And let me see. Then we have the comparison with adjectives. <coughs> and a cover fish. Which one is larger, okay? Remember that which is larger, we use it when we're going to compare two things, right? Two individual uh, objects, places, or people, right? Or it can also be two groups, okay? It can be two groups. For example, if you have group A, uh, which one is larger? The beginner's group? or the advanced group okay so there you're comparing two groups okay and it's oh, okay the beginners group is larger 
but then you say which group is larger which <laughs> which neighborhood right which neighborhood is larger larger okay. uh -huh. for example you can say uh sacamil sacamil or los santos uno in sayapango which which larger is larger mm -hmm. Larger is a quantity. Larger is a let's many say, many things. No a group of many things. No larger is, for example, which one is more large, more big? Yes. For example, uh, we have it's a like bigger. Uh huh. Exactly like bigger, right? So you say which one larger or bigger? For example, okay. you have you have sushi, you have a share, small, medium, and large. Correct? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So then uh, you say which one is larger, the medium or the large? Which one is the larger? Large, large, the large. large. Uh, the, the large, large is, is the larger large than the small than the medium or the small one. Okay. Good. Okay. All right, so that's the, the meaning of large. And you can use large for, as I told you, for example, for places or for things, okay? Not for people, okay? For okay. people, you use tall. Tall. Tall or taller, okay? You can use, for example, the parts of the body of a person, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, if you compare example uh, legs uh -huh. legs for example the legs for example right usually if you compare Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi uh, for example the for example that Cristiano Ronaldo's legs are larger than larger uh, than because, oh. because uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is, is taller 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 than uh -huh. okay okay so that's, that's one difference Okay, good. Now let's watch the video and listen to the conversation. Country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the In the conversation we're about to listen Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? If they are around for the explanation, it is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. The country is larger, China or Canada? I okay. So here we have, for example, the for example, you say which country, which country is larger? You can compare China or Canada. You can say which mm -hmm. uh, which continent is larger, America or Europe? Asia or Europe, you can say which planet, which planet is larger, Mars or Mercury, okay? You can also use which car is larger, uh, then you, you can have, uh, for example, um, uh, what, a Kia and a Mazda, right? So you can compare, if you see countries, continents, places or rivers okay like in this one for example you say what's the longest river in the americas okay and then uh, which country is more crowded 
okay, that which country has more people, okay, which country has more people, Monaco or Singapore, okay, and then uh, which country, uh, let's say, okay, one more, which South American capital city is the highest, okay, highest, if you see tall, in this case is highest, okay, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota. Okay, no questions about this vocabulary? No? Uh, the pronunciation of geography. That's geography. Correct. That's correct. Geography. Geography. Yeah. Quiz? Quiz. Quiz. Uh -huh. Quiz. It's a geography quiz. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, so this is you know like the kind of review that we had, right? Now look at the next one. Okay, oh Geo is here. Also oh, Vanessa too. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, Vanessa, would you please uh read this? objective here okay by the end of this section participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives okay very good excellent okay now we have here comparison with adjectives but also you have the superlative okay the superlative form Okay. Who's watching the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, yes, don't forget to to check this out. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Sentences in our discussion box. Oops. Welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad. Worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take okay. I want you to take a look at this chart and see if you have any questions because sometimes these uh, charts can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so we have how do we build? How, what is the structure, the grammar structure to use the comparative, right? 
we use then after the comparative form of the adjective. John is taller than. Okay, Dan. And what is the comparative form of the adjective? Taller. Okay, John is taller than Mary. Ferrari is a noun. Okay, like this noun or subject. The bear is because it's singular. The comparative more expensive than a fair. Okay, here is the same noun, bear, comparative, well, the adjective and comparative, then, and the noun object. Okay, when, the, when you have a short adjective, you only put er, 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 consonant, vowel, consonant. For example, when you say big, what happens when you say big? You say yeah. bigger with double G. Okay, because it has consonant, B, vowel, consonant. Okay, short adjective ended in Y, then you say I E R. Okay. I'm gonna give you some examples after. And then we have this one, long adjective, more plus long adjective, more expensive, you have one here, okay? For example, here you have pretty, prettier, okay? Pretty, prettier, heavy, heavier. Heavier. Uh -huh. You change the Y. Okay, let me see. Um, Happy. Uh, happy, uh huh. Right. Happier. Happier, that's correct. Another one? Try. Uh, try, but try is a verb. Okay, try is a verb. Let's see here, we can use this one. Okay, when you have, for example, you say happy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, happy. There you have. Then, in the comparative is? Happier. Okay. So there you go, you, you see the change, right? The change of the uh, Y. Y. I, E, R. Okay, and in their case, we have, when you say, uh, let me see, this one, uh, B. Okay, when you say B, you have, Consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, okay? We have V, okay, consonant, vowel, consonant, V, in only one sound, only one sound. Then you have double, double, double G, G. E R. okay? But look at, look at this case. Clean, clean, clean is one sound, monosyllable, correct? But what happens? Consonant, consonant. We have consonant, consonant, vowel, 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 vowel consonant, consonant, and consonant. Different from this, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, you say clear, clear. Uh -huh. no double N. Okay, only when it is consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, you have another one. Shorter. Oops. Okay, short. So let's see here. We have short. What happened with short? We have consonant, 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 consonant vowel, vowel, consonant, 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 consonant. What is the comparative? Shorter. Shorter, one T or double T? One T. One. Exactly, right? Got it? Shorter. Yes. Okay, very good. 
So then this is the rule, right? When you want to write some of these comparisons. Okay, and then you have more. When it's three syllables, more expensive. I will show you uh, a PDF that I have uh, with other examples, right? Some exceptions too. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive. Okay, my house, the noun, right? The subject. No. Is the bear? Bear. Adjective. Adjective. Bigger is the comparative than her house. Okay, then you can use that one. His room is tidier. What is tidier? Neat. More neat. Okay, more neat, more neat. I say tidier than her room. And the last one is the red car. This is the noun, the subject. The verb is expensive, expensive. Three syllables. It's a long, long adjective. Then you say more. More expensive, more beautiful, okay? Than the blue one. Expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. A study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long and irregular adjectives which you need to take into account when using them. Okay, here we have also the, the superlative, right? And Gio, can you please read the first box? Yeah. We use the, the before the superlative form of the adjective. John is the tallest. A Ferrari is the most expensive car. Okay, so what do we have here? Remember, the superlative have no comparison. Okay, when you say the tallest is because tallest. There, are, there is no other person with that height. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, when you say the, the best or the most expensive car, that is the most. And you always use the, the. the here. John is the tallest. Taller. John is the richest. Rich. John is the uh, the fattest. John is the fastest. Fastest. Okay, the fastest, right? Then a Ferrari is the most expensive car. A uh, Ferrari is the what is the no. the most beautiful car. Okay, a Ferrari is the what else? Uh, the lightest, okay, it's very light, not too heavy. The lightest car, you can compare that. If you have a short, um, a short adjective, EST, for example, the oldest. Oldest. Okay, the oldest is the person who has more age. Okay, in my house, you can say my house, my mother is the oldest. In my house, my father is the oldest. Or if you have, if you live alone, or you have only younger brothers, in my house, I am the oldest. Okay. Then you have the youngest. Okay, who is the, the person who has less age? And again, consonant, vowel, consonant plus es. Big, the biggest. Okay, remember big, bigger, okay, is the same rule. The hot, the hottest, okay? 
Uh, for example, we can say that uh, probably in, in, in El Salvador, uh, Usulután and San Miguel are the hottest departments, right? Probably San Miguel is hotter than Usulután maybe, right? But the two departments are the hottest in El Salvador. Now, which one is hotter? Usulután or San Miguel? Okay, probably San Miguel, right? Now, short adjectives ended in Y. We have, for example, easy. Easy is the opposite of what? Easy. Is heavy. The uh, uh, no, the opposite of? Uh, the opposite of heavy is light. The opposite, the contrary of easy? Easy. Hard. 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 Hard, difficult, right? Difficult. Uh huh. Mm. Correct. So they say the uh, it says easy, the easiest. Okay, the easiest. Yeah, no, no, heavy, the heaviest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one. Long <laughs> adjective. <laughs> the most long, ad long adjective. Exciting. The most exciting. Okay. Which is the most exciting movie that you have seen? Which is the Avengers. most? The Avengers, okay. What else? What is another movie that you consider the most exciting? Okay, I changed the movie. What is the most exciting activity that you have, that you have done? Uh, this days. Uh, morning. Which one? <laughs> exercise. Uh -huh, exercise, right? Uh -huh, do exercise. For example, you know, it's the most exciting. Doing exercise is the most exciting activity exciting. that I have done. Okay, you have beautiful, the most beautiful. Uh, irregular adjectives. Good. When you say good, it's the best. And bad is the worst. 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 Remember that in superlative is with a T, worst. In the comparative is with an E, the worst. Okay. Now let's. Go. Examples. He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, good. Now I'll show you this one. Okay. This is a, it says some adjective, some adjective that form the comparative and superlative in, in two ways, right? Example, you have common. Okay, sometimes you will see in some uh, text, it says commoner or more common, okay? Which one is more frequently more common? Okay, this one. More common. Okay, people use more frequently more common, but this one is also correct. Okay? For example, you say, uh, which one is more common to see in El Salvador? A Lamborghini or a Ferrari? Which car is more common to see in El Salvador? A Lamborghini or a Ferrari? Ferrari. 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 Okay. That's more common <laughs> here, right? And to crash, to crash it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we have cruel. Crueler and more cruel. 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 Okay. More cruel. Then it says more cruel. More cruel. Okay. And then you have the cruelest, cruelest. the most cruel. Deadly, 
Okay, for example, this is something that is mortal, yeah. right? Deadlier. Deadlier. Uh -huh. Or more deadly. More the two forms deadly. are correct. Friendly. Mostly. Friendlier. More friendly. The two forms. Okay. Handsome, this is for men. Then yeah, some people say handsomer, but it's more common. More handsome. More handsome. Okay more handsome happy you can say happier happier but you can also happy. use more happy no problem okay likely what is likely is probable probably mm -hmm. and then you say likely like likelier or more likely for example the a next uh there is an international game next week right here in salvador i think uh alliance is playing versus tigres right right but, <laughs> but it is more likely uh, who is who is more likely to win who is more who has more probabilities who is more likely to win in that game maybe Tigres. Tigres, right because they because we know that the mexican league has a better. a better level right yeah. and we say for example a uh, tigres is more likely to win has yeah. more it's more it's probable more likely to win uh-huh okay uh, when you see that the the sky the sky is very dark you say well it is more likely to rain right uh -huh. than that there is no rain lively okay livelier and more lively for example this is when you see uh uh let's say um colors okay for example if you go to a if you go to a place and the colors in the house are only black and white it looks very monochromatic right like monochromatic is something very very let's say uh, probably sad but if you see many colors in the wall on the walls uh, colors in the furniture and the grass green and everything they say it's more lively lively or more, more vivid okay more vivid something that looks nice okay a uh, lonelier or more lonely okay this is when you are alone 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 then lovely okay no. lovely no. okay what is something lovely lovely so adorable uh-huh yes something that is lovely for example if you have a dog and you like your dog it's very small and nice and cute i say, oh mm. my my dog is very lovely okay my dog is lovelier <laughs> than my cat or vice versa my cat is lovelier than my dog, okay? Or more lovely. Which one, which one you consider is more adorable? Narrower? Narrower. Yes, for example, if you see uh, a Los Proceres Boulevard has three lanes, right? Three lanes for the cars. Yes. Okay. But if you go, if you go to Ruben Darío Street, is only two, two, two. Uh -huh. Then Ruben Darío Street is narrower than Los Proceres Boulevard. Uh, okay. okay. Narrow. 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 Pleasant. Something that is nice, is good. Pleasanter, more pleasant. Pleasant, more pleasant. Polite. You know what it is. Polite, right? Quiet. Not too much noise. Shallow. Shallow is the opposite of deep. Or profound okay if you can swim very well you go to the deep part and if you cannot swim you stay in the shallow part of the swimming pool yes shallow is like superficial okay shallow is when you say okay it's a little pachito <laughs> shallow good Sincere, then you have the word stupid, right? This is just not to use it, right? But to 
but to understand. <laughs> okay, yeah. stupider and then say more stupid. Okay, and true, truer, and more true. More true. Okay, so these are some uh, common adjectives that are usually used in two forms, right? No problem? Questions? Okay, now let me show you. Okay, good. You see this one? Yes. All right. So you will see the, look at the picture. It says, opening soon, under new management, bigger menu, lower prices, better food. Okay, longer line. The restaurant will be different from the old restaurant or the same? Which one do you think? Possibly different. Different, okay. from, the old. different from the old restaurant. Because it says bigger menu. Bigger, lower and better. <laughs> lower prices and better food, right? And then these three mm -hmm. things, these three things, when you have bigger menu, lower price, and better food, then the lines outside are longer. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you remember at the beginning we were talking about the Com comparative uh -huh, of large, right? Uh -huh. We say large is for people, longer. Uh -huh, for longer. something that is big, synonym of big. But long is for distance. Place. For a distance, okay? Distance. For example, uh, the distance from here to, let's say, to La Union is longer than the distance from San Salvador to Santa Ana. Okay? The distance mm -hmm. from San Salvador to La Union mm -hmm. is longer than the distance from San Salvador to Santa Ana. Okay? And then, this is the one way to use it and you can see this one okay now uh, Xiomara can you read the, the chart check please this one. chart check uh, the comparative additive for always and in er you can use the same comparative additive twist in a, a statement to show a change in a situation. Very good, thank you, Zumara. right? So then we have, true or false, the comparative adjective form always ends in ER. True false. or false? Huh? False. Is true. Why false? Because it's when it's true. Our comparative, yeah. True or false? Always, true. always ends in ER. Always, 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 always. No, because no. uh huh. No, because it is more comfortable. Exactly. No. Uh -huh. And there. Okay. No, always. Right. Not always. Not always. Only when you have short adjectives. Better. But when we have long adjectives, we have more, more, more comfortable, <laughs> more less. beautiful. Okay. Less. More expensive. Okay, so then in that case, not always. So then it is false. false. Okay, and the second one says you can use the same comparative adjective twice nice. in a statement to show a change in situation. Look at this one. This is the food is getting better and better. The food is getting worse, worse and worse. worse. Here's this is when we say, esto está mejorando o esto está empeorando, right? 
Yes. Uh, the food is getting better and better. The food is getting worse and worse. The food is getting more and more delicious. Okay. The food is getting less and less interesting. interesting. The class is getting more and more difficult. No. Mm -hmm. so the, the class is getting easier and easier. Okay? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. So you can use the same comparative adjectives in a statement to show change in a situation. True or false? True. It is true, right? Okay, so when you want to, to show to show that there is a, a let's say a change in a situation, you can use the same adjective two times. Use the comparative. Okay, for example, if you say my salary is getting okay, higher and higher or lower and lower. <laughs> huh? What do you think? Marcela? It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> well, my salary, my salary is disappearing faster and faster. <laughs> okay, you can use that one, okay? Or my salary is, is lasting, is lasting, Durando, is lasting more and more. Okay, Marcela, how about your salary? <laughs> no, just kidding. Disappear, teacher. <laughs> Disappear faster and faster, right? Okay. Okay, now think of a sentence where you can use two adjectives like this. For example, my my car is getting what? <laughs> Oh, older, um, older, older and older, older and older, right? This is, you know, it's, it's kind of the end, right? My car is getting older and older every day. Okay, we are getting younger and younger, right? Yeah. Oh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forever good. Younger. Yes, forever young, correct. So we are forever young. So we are getting younger and younger. Okay. No, if you do exercise, if you do exercise, then you get better and better in your health. Okay. Uh, and it's part of the rules uh, when when I use uh, repeat comparatives, I need to to put uh, before the repeated comparatives, uh, ing, verb or ing. This one, the food is getting? Yes, uh -huh. the food is getting because you're showing that something is changing, right? Uh -huh. This one. Ing. The the rule is like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should the food, my car, okay. my house. My house is getting older and older. Okay, because okay. it's it's changing. It's going from one state <laughs> to another. Okay. Good. Okay. No questions. Now let's see here. Hello, Liz. Liz, how are you, Liz? Good? Fine, okay. teacher, and you? Great, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, would you please read this explanation here, Liz? Yes. Use the comparative from of adjectives to focus on a difference between people, places, and things. Now read the two examples on the right. The new menu is bigger than the old menu. The new waiters are more experienced than the old waiter. Okay, good. So here it says, use the comparative form of adjectives to focus on a difference between people, places, and things. The new menu is bigger than the old menu. So now we have more, more food, more products, right? And the new waiters are more experienced than the old waiter. So these ones are better okay good then uh okay vanessa could you please read the yes. letter the letter a number two and letter a and be careful 
Okay, there is more than one way to form the comparative of adjectives. A, for one syllable adjectives and two syllable adjectives ending in uh, y. y, use adjectives plus er. Er. R. R. Be careful. There are often spelling changes, changes, changes when you add ER. Okay, for example, bright. Uh, bright. Uh, brighter. Brighter. Friendly and friendlier. Okay, here, for example, there is one change, right? The, the Y disappears, right? You drop the Y and then you have I. E R R. Okay, this one. Nice and nicer. Okay. Big and bigger. Double G. Okay, you know why. This one. Yes. Pretty and prettier. And prettier, right? Prettier. The same example with the letter Y. Okay, good. And who else we have here? And Kevin. Can you read the second? Be careful. Okay. Be careful. Some adjectives have irregular comparative form. The adjective good, comparative better. Yes. The adjective bad, comparative worse. Comparative worse. Okay, good. Carlos, read the letter B. For most. Okay. For most other adjectives of two or more syllables, use more and less plus adjective. Okay, very good. So then examples? Comfortable and more comfortable. More comfortable. Comfortable and less comfortable. Yes, very good, less comfortable. Okay, so remember that this is when you have less than that. Good. And let me see who else. Gio, are you there? Yes. Okay, read the, the last one. For some adjectives, use either ER or more less. The in is quieter, 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 quieter than Joe's. The in is more quiet than Joe's. Okay, this is like the examples I show you, right? that the two forms are correct. You can say quieter Either or more quiet. More quiet. Okay. You say my, ho my house is more quiet than his house. My house is quieter than his house. The two forms will be acceptable. Okay. okay. Now, this is comparative. Now let's see the superlatives. Hey, who, who, who feels romantic today? Huh? Who feels romantic? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, Xiomara, would you please read this message here? To the loveliest, most original, most vibrant, most exciting woman I know. Okay. Here, this can be a message for your mother, for your sister, right? For a daughter, okay? A person that you know, right? To the loveliest, most original, most vibrant, most exciting woman I know. Okay, see, loveliest, original, original, most original, most. Okay, most vibrant, most vibrant. vibrant. Most exciting, long adjective, right? Yeah. Okay. And if you see in the first adjective, you say to the, no, in the other, you don't say to the loveliest, to the most original, to the most vibrant, to, only in the first one, right? But then, uh, Evelyn, can you please read this part? For you, Evelyn, yes. No? Okay. 
who just happens to be my wife. My wife. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Good. So this is the continuation of this part, okay? To the loveliest, most original, most vibrant, most exciting woman I know, who just happens to be my wife. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay? So okay. This, the sender, this person who wrote this message of this card thinks his wife is very typical or very special. 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 Very special. special. Very special. Very special, right? So you write things, so you see how you make the difference, right? For example, when you say to the loveliest, that means that there is no other person as lovely as this woman. Okay? And then you have the sweetest. Sweetest. So you have the sweetest, the sweetest, the funniest, the best, the most wonderful, the least selfish. Uh, you say you are the sweetest person. Look at this expression. In the world. In the world. In the world. Person. Okay. You are the sweetest person in the planet. Okay. You are the sweetest person in my life. Okay. Or, for example, you can also say, which is the sweetest food that you Ooh. have eaten? Melcocha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, the sweetest food or candy, the sweetest candy I have I'll ever try. eaten ever. or tried okay. is Melcocha, right? Good. The funniest. The funniest movie, the funniest uh, person. The funniest person I have ever met or I have ever seen is uh, Jim Carrey. Okay, could be the funniest uh, actor I have ever seen is Jim Carrey. Okay, good. Julia Roberts. Uh -huh. Okay, and their one is the best. The best. The best, uh, what? The best present, okay? The mm -hmm. best present I have ever received, ever received. that I have ever received is uh, a pair of socks, okay? <laughs> a pair of socks, good. And the most wonderful person I have ever met, say, is my wife, is my I don't know, my best friend, okay, or my boss. Okay, you have the nicest. My daughter. My daughter, yes. My daughter. The nicest, the loveliest, the worst, worst, okay? The most amusing and the least original. Questions yes. about this? No? No problem. No. Okay. Okay, then you have some other examples here. When to use it, something that I was explaining. And here, this one, yes. Okay, now, Kevin. Kevin? Are you sleeping? Okay. <laughs> Kevin is sleeping now. <laughs> Are you there? Left. I see. Yes. There. Okay, it's not there, right? Good. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, well, Ruth? You hear me, Ruth? No. Okay. Moises, can you please read the first one here? And the example. Okay, okay. Ah, the example. No, first this part. Number two. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the superlative is often used with expressions begin with in or of. Such are in the word and of all. Okay. 
Example? You are the best. You are the best mother in the world. He's the smartest and of us all. Okay, he's the smartest one of us all. Okay, he's the the smartest oh. one of us. Okay, us all. You are the. Then you look at these expressions in the world of us all, of all. Us all. You can use of all like oh. this. One. <laughs> of all. Of all. Okay. Of all. Of all. And okay, Gio, can you read the next one? Which one? The number four. The superlative is sometimes followed by a clause. Often the clause is in the present perfect with ever. That's okay. the nicest card I've ever received. You have the loveliest smile I have ever seen. I have ever seen. Okay, very good. Good, good. Okay, here. Okay, you are the best mother. Identify the superlative form. You are the best mother in the whole wide world. You are the smartest, the brightest, and the funniest of all moms. Mm -hmm. the I ever know. The brightest and the funniest. Uh -huh. The smartest. The brightest and the funniest. The brightest and the funniest. Okay, good. Uh, Xiomara, read this one. You are, just two sentences. You are the nicest mom you've ever had. I've? I've ever had. Yes. The next one. You are the most wonderful and definitely the least man. The least mean. The least man. Okay, so here we have nicest mom. Nicest, and here, what is the superlative? Most wonderful. Yeah. Least mean. Most wonderful and? Least mean. Least, least mean. Least, least, least mean. mean. Okay, least mean. Good. Uh, Carlos, the next one. No mom in the whole wide world is better than you. Okay, very good. No mom in the whole wide world is better than you. Okay, so the sentence here, the... But it's a comparative. It's a comparative, not superlative. Okay, very good. And Liz, are you there? Yeah. Okay. You are the greatest mother of all. You are the greatest mother of all. I love okay. you very, very much. Yes, and I love you very, very much. Here you have the greatest. Greatest. Great. The greatest mother. This is the superlative. And then you have happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good. Then, uh, if you see this one, for example, has to do with the superlatives and comparatives, then uh, tomorrow we're going to have practice. Did you take, uh, did you capture the, the images? No? Mm. Well, I will put some of this some of, some of the information in the, in the chat, okay? So that you can, you can see it, uh, and also you can, we can, you can practice some sentences, and tomorrow we're going to have oral practice. We're going to work in groups to have uh, conversations using comparatives and superlatives, okay? Okay. Okay, people, so have a good night. Oh, by the way, did you do the, the test? How was it? Yeah. No problem? No. Okay. Easier. Easy, right? <laughs> okay. Good students. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night, teacher. Night, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye.